Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy, Jess. Welcome back to another Madden 18 video. Today, we're going to go on ahead and take a look at the two new replay heroes that were released, as well as the cards that were released in the sets of said cards. So, we're going to go straight to sets. We're going to go to NFL replays. Now, I looked at the... Uh, well, first of all, let me take a sip of this gorgeous white cherry Gatorade I'm taking a look at. I took a look at the feedback when the uh, official Twitter of EA Mutt tweeted out the heroes that were going to be released yesterday. And uh, the feedback was pretty bad. You know, uh, not too many people were excited of the two cards that were released this week. Uh, there's a lot of potential in this program. They can choose so many great players to give cards to that uh you know need them you know like injured players like uh a jj watt can get one a richard sherman can get one you know they gave one to von miller i mean he wasn't injured but you know like uh a cam newton can get one and eric berry can get one like there's there's a lot of potential here to go on ahead and choose players that are you know in power-ups but were unable to receive them upgrades due to injury or you know just give cards that haven't had a power up in a long time like um i'm drawing a blank this the strong safety from the dolphins i have his power up i don't know why i can't think of his name right now i'm really drawing a blank it's making me upset what is his name what is his name what is, i can't i can't you guys know what i'm talking about i, I oh, i'm drawing a blank but uh this week we're gonna take a look at the heroes uh 96 overall patrick chung Strong safety and left guard, 96 overall for the Ravens and Kevin Osemali. Osam Osmali. Os I I don't know how to pronounce that. Listen, there's a lot of different ways you can pronounce that. Okay, tomato, tomato. You know what I'm talking about. So uh, we're gonna go on ahead and take a look and see what goes into the sets and uh, see what players. Now the heroes, like I said, there's a lot of potential in the heroes. Uh, the players that go into the set though are kind of you know there really hasn't been one that's like oh my god it's really 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 good except any 49ers player like you know this brooks which everybody should have and uh, eric reed that came out not too long ago you know besides those guys you know um there's not too many people <laughs> that really could use a rashad jones rashad jones that's the strong safety for the Dolphins that I'm drawing a blank of that I just hit. You guys think I got Tourette's. <laughs> you guys are like, what the hell? Wait a minute. <laughs> Nelson, what's going on here? Uh, so we got 92 Eric Brooks, 91 overall Pe Pico, Paco. We have Wolfie. We have uh, Screeny Scrine. We got Tail. We got Crick. My goodness, this is the weirdest bunch of last names ever. Butler and Shelby. We go from Crick to Wolfie to Screeny to T.A.O. to Pico. <laughs> and those are the cards needed. And again, there's not really uh, like great cards that go into the sets, unfortunately. The heroes have been, you know, pretty good. Like Aaron Rodgers and, you know, Von Miller. Um, we have uh, Martellus Bennett. Now, that right there seems like a viable card. You know, I'm sure his run blocking is pretty good. Uh, Tavon Austin probably could be useful. We have a David Baraka, Mike Tobert. Brian Hoyer, Davis, Fuller, and Andre Smith. Now, let's go ahead and let's take a look at the two of the heroes that were released. If you guys seen the previous video of the Weekend League Rewards, I actually pulled Osemele as we end up selling that Mike Singletary. Let's go on ahead and uh, let's take a look at the two cards. 96 to 97 overall. And let's go program. Scroll all the way down to NFL Honors. And that's not the program we want. Replay. Stay in school, kids. Stay in school. And I'm a drug-free adult. And that just lets you know. Stay in school. <laughs> so uh, the cheapest is actually Robert Quinn. When I pulled the 96 overall plus replay player, I was hoping and praying not for A.J. Green or... Uh, Josh Norman. Looks like Quinn was the one we definitely didn't want. All right, but uh, since they're Nord, it should be a little bit more expensive. Let's go on ahead and let's take a look. Osemele. Now, I do have all my cards on uh, my second account, uh, so you can't really see him uh, 
to who was my left guard? Larry Allen. But 94 run block, 97 pass block, 96 impact block, 93 strength. Those attributes are amazing. The only frustrating thing is that he has moved the sticks. There's not too many. Um, there's not too many chemistries that I would want. There, there's no chemistries I want uh, over. Like toughness is easily the worst chemistry in a game, but toughness is a chemistry for offensive linemen. I would rather have than move the sticks because at least toughness. If you can, you know, have toughness as your chem, you know, on your offensive lineman, at least you're building up strength. Move the sticks does literally nothing for offensive linemen. Your strength, your run block, your pass block, your impact block, all that stays the same. Literally does nothing. So uh, you don't build on this player at all. So you're pretty much going to get him stock, and the attributes you get, he's going to stay just like that unless you have a Coach Madden, where uh, Coach Madden Tier 3 would give this guy 95 run block, 98 pass block. I think it's plus one strength, too. Might go up to 94 strength. But move the sticks for offensive linemen is the worst chemistry in the game. Worst in toughness. And toughness is awful. But at least if you had, like I said, a bunch of toughness, at least you build up your strength. And some people think it doesn't even matter, but at least something on the card is going up. Move the sticks is nothing. Zero. Zilch. Nada. We got to stop giving offensive linemen move the sticks. It's awful. It's awful. You got to stop giving them toughness, too. Like, it's just two chemistries that, that you know, you know. I mean, move the sticks is good if you're, you know, you're basically getting it to improve the chemistry for your other players. Like your quarterback, your running back, your receivers. You know, it benefits them. But just specifically offensive linemen. If you maxed out tier four for, you know, move the sticks. And you go get nothing but move the sticks offensive linemen so you can go on ahead and max out tier four, move the sticks. Your offensive linemen are not benefiting whatsoever. Your running back is, your quarterback is, your wide receivers are, but your offensive linemen are not. Not a big fan of that. But outside of that, the card is amazing. I mean, his strength is really good. His run block is really good. His pass block is godlike. His impact block, godlike. His awareness, godlike. Really, 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 really good. But if you just imagine if he had pound a rock, right? And you can add plus two run block. And now you're looking at 96 run block, 97 pass block. You know, he's he's arguably one of the best left guards in the game. And he is. He is. But it just sucks that you can't improve upon that. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at Patrick Chung. I thought there wasn't one available for a second. All right. This Patrick Chung took a lot of heat when uh, it was revealed due to his speed. He has 90 speed. Now, getting a 96 overall card in the month of March, let's be honest, football season's over. Right? I can't even say it's dead. It's over. And now is the time where, you know, they want to keep us engaged, right? They want us playing this game until the next Madden comes out. How do they keep us as an audience engaged with this game when the actual football season is over? It's no longer. By bringing out content and cards that we really want. This right here might not be one of them. It might not be. I mean, if you want this card, you know, by all means, his zone coverage is amazing. His pursuit, his hit power, man coverage, his play rec, his accelerate, he's just slow. And we all know that speed dominates Madden. If you have a lot of speed on the field, you're going to cover a lot of ground. You're going to make a lot of plays because you're just able to cover more ground. 90 speed is pretty slow to release for a 96 overall strong safety in March. If this card came out in, let's say, like the uh, most feared promo, we will be looking like, damn, this card is a must-have. But now, in March, not trying to steer you away from getting this card because it looks really good. It's just slow. It's just slow. Uh, again, 90 speed, 95 acceleration, 96 play rec. Those are flat out phenomenal. Uh, you know, man coverage is, you know, pretty good for a safety. Zone coverage is really high. Uh, he does have read and react, so you're able to get that up to 97 zone if you're able to get that to tier three. 
So that right there is very helpful. And if you're able to start Tyron Matthew, the motivators, which I think everybody should, you know, adding plus two to the zone coverage for everybody is just very helpful. I think everybody should have a Tyron Matthew and just sub them out when the game starts, how I do and how a lot of people do, just because adding plus two zone to everybody is just so glitchy. And it helps out your linebackers a lot, too. Like, all my linebackers have 91 zone coverage. Even though there's a rumor of 91 zone coverage not being a meta anymore because of uh, zone coverage just seeming like they're broken now. Uh, like, uh, you know, a cloud flat won't play anything nowadays how it used to. But they probably upped the threshold. Nobody really knows. We don't get answers. But uh, still, uh, again, you can get this card up to 99 zone. Plus three, read and react uh, chemistry. Tier 3, I should say, and a Tyron Matthew. You're looking at 99 zone coverage. 97 pursuit, which is godlike. His hit power, not Sean Taylor-like, but good enough to create some hard hits and incomplete passes. Might force a fumble or two. A little on the short side at 5'11". Would definitely prefer somebody like Harrison Smith. Like, if they had some Harrison Smith with speed, my lord, I'd be all over. Or Rashad Jones. This Rashad Jones, uh, I think he's still... Uh, I plug him in my lineup every now and then because his block shit is really, really, really high. Um, he has tip drill, which is a, a good, good camp. You know, tip drill is definitely useful. There's a lot of uh, passes that get deflected, and if you got tip drill back there, it's definitely helpful. But again, in my opinion, it's just a little too slow. I think Ken Houston is the best safety in the game due to him having such high speed, and he's everywhere. He's everywhere. Patrick Chung looks like he's going to be an absolute monster for you. And if you get him, he is going to make plays for you. He is going to be able to play zones very well. But there's also going to be times where he just doesn't get there in time. And it's due to 90 speed. And I don't think we should be getting these type of cards in March. Give this card like 93 speed. And he's looking like you know one of the better strong safeties in the game. But because he doesn't have that speed and he only has 90 it's like, hey, he, he's a monster, but he will, you know, there will be times where you're going to be a little frustrated because he just doesn't get there. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. It's your boy, Jess. We're going to go on at him signing out. Peace.